Welcome back to another edition of the Flufferdome. <laughs> um, so, I just want to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just want to say this first. I've gotten so many new subscribers and you guys are watching my videos and you like my videos. So, I just want to say thank you. Thank you. But how you do that heart thing? This, this thing. This. It's a heart in my direction. I don't know. There it is. There it is. I just had to hold it at the right angle. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah. So, so many subscribers and followers. And I just, I thank you guys. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. And also, if you are not subscribed and this is the first video you're seeing, you should do that. Make sure you activate the bell. Activate the bell. Make sure you activate the bell. And so that way you can get notifications when I do upload, which the schedule is keeping every Saturday. Every Saturday I'm uploading. That is, you know, what I'm doing. All right. Also, make sure you hold me accountable. If you see a Saturday go by, you don't see a video, hit me up. Hey, what you doing? What's going on? Especially if you handle updates. Usually I try to update you if I'm not able to upload a video but today's video is going to be about once again these nails um if you are subscribed and you have seen my other kiss nail tutorial you should go watch that i will link that in the description below um you should do that go watch it because this is almost four weeks and i cut them down already because i had some things to do this week and i couldn't deal with the long nails so I cut them down and they still look, you know, it's just, and not, not a single one of them has popped off. Um, I've lost a couple stones, but you know, that's just with, you know, just nails. Sometimes you lose stones and these, <clears throat> these, um, I feel like were not sealed cause they did get caught like in my hair a lot. So they weren't like sealed. They're just like on. So they pop off really easy, but not really because it's been almost four weeks and I still have all of these left and I actually lost like most of them in these last couple of days doing all the handy dandy handwork I've been doing. So with that being said, we are going to move into the removal process of the nails. And uh, so you guys know how to take them off after you get them on because you can't just peel these off. Like they're not, they're not budging. They, they've started to lift because they're the, the glue is old, but they're not budging and it's also really not safe for your nails to pull them off so don't just pick and peel and you know pull them off yeah so i'm going to show you how to move them properly um and that's what we're going to do all right see you in a bit hi and welcome back to my torso and hands <laughs> um so these are the tools you're going to be using to remove your nails um you're going to, this is what I use. This is the Kiss All or One um, artificial nail remover. Um, this is this this might be old packaging. I've had this one quite a while, but this works best. If you do not, <clears throat> excuse me, if you do not have this, which you can easily buy at any drugstore, like the same place you bought your nails, you could also use the cotton ball acetone and foil wrap method that they use to do the um what's that the like to take off the gel nails um you can use that method as well i just don't like that method to me it takes forever um the difference between like any other method and this this is kind of gross in here because like i said i've had this for years but it has like these little okay it's pretty much empty so it's not going to spill but like you see like these little like like spikies yeah that's what you're gonna rub your nails up against to get it off once it dissolves and it, it does speed up the um, removal process greatly okay <clears throat> so I use that you're also gonna need nail files I have my coarse nail file here and then I have a less coarse file this is kind of gross because I use this one for removing the nails so there's like leftover like plastic and acrylic in the file which is kind of gross but whatever it's not like skin flakes so yes so you need coarse file that you you know the one from before when you put the nails on the coarse file 
than a less coarse file for your natural nail to get the leftover residue off. You're gonna need some nail clippers to clip down your nails because if they are long, you wanna clip them down as much as possible. I have already clipped these down, as I said earlier, because I had stuff to do. And this is also another way I was saying in prolonging your wear, you could change the shape. If you don't want long nails anymore, you can clip them down, file the ends and make them look neat again. And it's like you almost had a whole new set. You know, it's weird, whatever. Um, I have, this is a cuticle cutter, but I use this, um, I have to use this sometimes because sometimes you might gotta pull off parts, even though I don't recommend pulling off pieces. But like these rhinestones and stuff, I'll probably pick these off before I go into the thing because, you know, so they don't get in the way in the removal process, okay? An orange stick to kind of scrape off. This would be the only thing I would recommend to like push it off of your nails, okay? And then also you have some aftercare stuff. I have some hand lotion because your hands will be dry from the acetone. Some cuticle oil and I also have some uh, cuticle cream that I use. It's Burt's Bees cuticle cream. I love this stuff. I don't know if they make this anymore. I've had it for a long time, but I love it. It's great. And it smells really nice too. <clears throat> if I can get it open. Yeah, it smells really nice. It's just like this like butter. Yeah. Pretty nice, it's lemon, lemon butter cuticle cream. I will put these items to the side because I won't need those till later. So I'm gonna get those out the way. So, first things first, removal. Cut down the nails as far as possible. Um, this is literally as far as I could go because my natural nail is that length and I don't wanna cut my natural nail, I wanna save my natural nails because I want to paint them, you know or put something else on. So I've already cut my nails down. <clears throat> Next, I'm going to remove the rest of these. You see how these have popped off? The rest of the rhinestones. Done. Rhinestones are off of that hand. Yep. And we're gonna do these nails and take this one off. You could also just do this with the nail clipper too. Oh, that one ran away. But I like using this because I get, it's wider open than a nail clipper. So you can get in there, you can get underneath it better. Or you could just clip it off like I just did. But when you clip it off like that, it flies across the room, like it just did. I'll find that later when I'm vacuuming. Well, I won't find it, it'll just get vacuumed up. <laughs> okay. So now that that's done, you don't need this anymore. Get that out the way. All these shiny, shiny stones. Let me get them out the camera frame so they don't distract you from looking at what I'm doing. Because, you know, shiny things are distracting. Very distracting. <laughs> Next, <clears throat> I'm going to open this up. So like I said, I've had this for a while. It does already come with a solution in there. And it also comes with instructions on how to use it. Basically what I just told you, clip them down as far as they go. And the next step I'm gonna explain shortly. Next, I just refill it with some acetone. You want 100% acetone, pure acetone. If you can get it from like the beauty supply store or even like CVS will have it. Um, pure acetone, okay? This is just 100% acetone from Dollar Tree. So I know it's not pure acetone. So this takes a little bit longer. If you get the pure acetone, like from the beauty supply store, like the professional grade, it's so, so, so fast, okay? So now that that's filled, I'm just gonna set the top back on that while I do the next step. Next step, you wanna remove the shine. Just the same way we remove the shine from our natural nails in order to get the glue to stick, we wanna remove the shine from these nails in order to break down the polymer or whatever these are made of. So you're gonna file this, you're gonna take your rough, your rough file and file it. Be careful of your cuticles. Your cu blah, blah. Be careful <laughs> of your cuticles. Um, you don't want to file your cuticles and cause damage there, especially when you're about to be soaking in acetone for five, 10 minutes, you know? You wanna keep those as intact as possible. You wanna try to get in the corners and yeah and you just want it you want to make it look ugly if you made it look ugly you did a good job hi so it's voiceover me i'm just gonna pop in um every now and then on the 
fast forward areas just to you know go over some points I may have missed. Um, just want to take you guys full circle on the application and proper removal of these nails so that way you do not damage your nails or hurt yourself. Um, the last thing I want is for you guys to injure yourselves by wearing the artificial nails and then removing them improperly. So I want to make sure you guys have those tools that you need in order to be successful. And yeah, so you're going to hear from me every now and then, you know, when I'm fast forwarding so that way it's just not too quiet. Or you might just hear the cool tunes of the instrumental playing in the background, but I'll be here from time to time. So enjoy. All right, so now that you have this unattractive pile of dust in front of you, please try not to flick it around like I just did and inhale it. You don't want to inhale it. Wear a mask if you can. Safety, I should have done that first. Safety, wear a mask if you can. Um, or, you know, if you don't have a mask, tie a bandana or something around your face so you don't inhale the shavings, okay? Number two, put something down to cover your surface to protect it from the acetone. Okay. All right. <laughs> so now that safety is out the way, you know, wait at the end when I should have did that before and your nails now look ugly. Now we're going to put our nails into the thing. So if we read the instructions, <clears throat> uh, okay. So it says submerge for two minutes before beginning to twist. Okay. And then it says dip and twist for no more than 20 minutes. So 20 minutes max, these nails should be off, okay? So, and I like this too, because you can put your whole hand in it one time. Like the old ones, it used to be like you had to do one at a time and you'd be here for three hours taking these nails off. Now, that's not the case. Just like that. Two minutes. So I should have also included this in your tools that you're gonna need. You should have something to do. Make sure you bring something to do. Um, you'll probably have your phone. As you see, I pull out a puzzle to keep me preoccupied while I'm waiting because you're going to be here for a little while. This total process took me, I want to say, about 40 minutes total if you include the filing down and the whole thing. So about a total of 40 minutes. So make sure you have something to do because you're not going to be able to do much else while you're soaking. All right. So it's been two minutes. As you see, I've broken out a puzzle. Bring something with you to do. <clears throat> now we're just going to start rubbing on this thing here right on those ridges and this helps break down the uh, the polymer or plastic or acrylic or gel or whatever is on here yep and when you do buy these I'm just gonna tell you a tip you're going to want to make sure they are stored completely upright the entire time. Because if they ever go on their side, they do tend to leak. I don't know if it's the construction of the container or just the, you know, get in their ability, abil abilities of the acetone. But you want to make sure that it's upright all the time. Because you will destroy a floor or carpet or surface with the acetone. It's not fun. I've done it before. I learned the hard way. So during this part, you're going to want to alternate between soaking and scrubbing. And you'll see me pause for a little bit as I'm letting it soak. And then you're going to go back to scrubbing because you want to scrub off whatever has already dissolved. So that way what's left can soak and be dissolved so it can be scrubbed off next. So after about 10 to 15 minutes, you can be completely done with this process and move on to the next hand. And I've just got a paper towel to dry off the extra acetone and just give my nails a look at and to see what still has so my thumb still needs some work so and this is when you go in and you do a little bit of detailing let's move my puzzle out the way oh oh I found that piece yeah Okay. Anywho, <laughs> back to this part. So I'm going to put my thumb in the regular finger side and drag it along the whole thing because my thumb needs a little extra love. 
Let me know if you guys want me to do a tutorial on the other method I was talking about earlier with the um, cotton pad and foil wrap, the, the gel removal method, because I have definitely used that before to remove my artificial nails. Like I said, it just takes a lot longer than this method. Um, this method takes about, what did I say, like 40 minutes total. That one will probably take you over an hour if not an hour and a half to two hours with that method it's it's very very time consuming and not fun but i can do it if you want all right and so here you'll see like there's see like there's like still a little bit on the tip there we can just file that off later but other than that this hand is good so with that we're gonna start on the other hand <clears throat> and you see you can just hold it and just move it I'm gonna move my puzzle over ah I lost two pieces So here I'm just repeating the same process on my opposite hand, it's the same thing, I'm just going to fast forward through all of it because there's no reason to stop and talk because I did that from the first side and you pretty much have gotten all the tips that I can give on this particular area. So I'm just going to finish my puzzle and finish scrubbing and soaking, alternating in between, just you know, a regular routine method and you'll get the hang of it the more often you do it. and. It's actually kind of relaxing because you get to sit and just be still for a little while, especially when you do something relaxing like putting together a small puzzle. I'm very, very chill, you know, I'll put on some music and just hang out, you know, spend some time with yourself. A lot of times people don't uh, take that self-care time to spend time with themselves and think about things and think about life and, you know, brood if brooding is necessary. You know, recently watched a Lego movie too, and Wild Style was trying to teach Emmett how to brood, and it was hilarious. <laughs> but yeah, this kind of stuck in my head. But yeah, you know, do whatever you want with your time, because you have plenty of it sitting here, not being able to do much else. Or like I said, you can you know watch something on your phone. My phone is actually preoccupied recording this video, so I don't have my phone to do anything with. Hence, therefore, the puzzle. <laughs> But yeah, so I'm almost done here, so I'm going to give you back over to myself. See you later. All right, and we're done. All the nails are off. Our hands look really dry and gross, but we're going to go take care of that right now because next step is we're going to wash our hands. So I will be right back. I'm back. Okay, so we've washed our hands. Now we're going to dry them properly. You may have like a little bit of residue like around your fingers. Do you see that white peeling stuff? That's not skin, that's just between the nail residue and the acetone. It kind of sticks to your hands. So if you have like a nail brush, which I did not bring to wash my hands, but if you do have one, that'll help you scrub that away. But I'm just gonna use the paper towel. And this is also the importance of your your nail, your nail treatment, I mean your hand treatments that I had out earlier, your hand lotion and your cuticle oil and cream because acetone is very, very drying on the skin. That's why this is not usually my preferred method. My preferred method is them usually falling off on their own because it's been two, three weeks, sometimes four weeks like this time, and they're ready to come off. But apparently I did such a good job Apparently I did such a good job, they didn't want to come off this time. So, we had to use the old soak method on my hands. I'm going to show you the complete. This is how my nails look straight out the uh, freshly removed. Um, they are a little ashy because remember we did rough them up before we put the nails on. We took off the natural shine. This one may have bent a little bit, so 
you got a little peeling right there that's not that's not a big deal but there is no green fungus can you focus I hate when it does this You gonna focus on it? This thing focuses when it wants to, and I promise you, it's it's crazy. So yeah, there is no green fungus. The nails are intact for the most part. Just basically the general wear from removing artificial nails. So next. I'm going to take care of this little peeling here. Just pick that loose part off. We're not digging deep, you know, if it's raised and, you know, lift it off, just, just, pick, just pick it off, right? Then we're gonna get our gentle file just to make sure there's nothing left on the nail bed. So just gently, just go over, get in your cuticles, just get all that extra gooby de gack out of there here is where i would stop if i were applying another set of artificial nails just because these steps are for nail care after removal so here you could just jump right into the application tutorial and you would only need to prep the new growth up near your cuticle and that's it I'll show you guys my puzzle in a minute. <laughs> I put a shot in at the end of my puzzle that I completed. And that's it. So now, let's go and do, actually now I'm gonna go in with this cuticle butter first, this Burt's Bees cuticle butter. You wanna care for your cuticles. They were soaking in that, that stuff for a while, so. Ah, oh, it smells so nice. It's really thick. I just put it on. You can skip this step if you don't have it. I just like to use it because I try to, you know, show my cuticles some love after I just beat them up in that, uh... And then also it's good for your nails too. Because we, dehydrate we de dehydrated them before we put the nails on. And then we just dehydrated them even more by soaking them in just gonna wipe off the excess by soaking them in the acetone. So they need love. They need love and care. Next, cuticle oil. And um, so with the cuticle oil, a lot of times I put a lot on because I literally rub it into, into my uh, nail bed because like I said, those are really dry. So I put a lot of cuticle oil on. So I put a lot of cuticle oil on and then I do this actually, I would recommend doing this like two or three times a day just to rehydrate your nails and give them back that natural elasticity because they will snap and break because they are dry and brittle at this point. So make sure you show those nails some love too. All right, then we're gonna massage that in there. So we got a little, little, little catch there. So we're just gonna take our file and just gently file that away, you know. Cause we don't wanna file away our length. We wanna keep our length. That's why we took off the nails in the method we took them off in. I know I should've did this before. I forgot. Okay. Last step, throw on some hand cream. Cause your hands were also in there. And that's it. You are done removing your nails. You are ready for the next step. Um, you can, if you would like to reapply another set immediately, you sure can, you definitely could. I usually don't. I usually like to give my nails some time to breathe. And then also because I just put all of the oils back onto my nails, I necessarily wouldn't recommend. If you are going to immediately put on another set, I would not 
put on the oils and the cream and everything. I would just go right into putting on another set. And that would include, that would still include dehydrating the nail with the dehydrator, like the same steps. Only thing you don't really need to rough them up again. You might need to rough up your new growth, like up near the cuticle, because that's new, but you get to maintain all that new growth if you're gonna paint your natural nails or if you're going to go and get a, a professional overlay. Um, yeah, or you just wanna throw another set over your current growth and let it grow some more. But this is final nails done, nails removal. Almost four whole weeks of whew, nail wear. And that is it. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next video. I will include some after shots since the camera won't focus so you can see the health of my natural nail after removing the nails, after having them on for four weeks. All right? Until next time, peace.